Wow. What did you do in the last six months? I can't remember. <laughs> Doesn't really Nothing compare, is exciting. Nothing is exciting, does it? Yeah, Nothing what is an exciting. amazing... And of course, you saw him. You met him just before he left. Yeah, well, we did a special breakfast, didn't we, um, at the Science Museum yeah. with Tim Peake, where we examined what he was going to do and how he wants to inspire children to be more interested in space. And he himself is a guinea pig as part of this, almost a human guinea pig, because they're examining the effects of space mm. on him. But he's a very, very calm, measured man. Um, holds things in perspective, a family man as well. I'm very excited about telling his um, adventure to his children when he finally sees them. Of course, he's seeing his family today or, or over the next couple of yeah, days quite, when he lands. Yeah, and it's not just his kids, is it? Because I think no. all the kids at schools over Britain have been captivated. I know that from my kids have been, you know, by what he's achieved over the last few months and want to hear from him as well. And let's have a quick look now at the timings this morning because uh, he's on his way back to Earth, is Tim. At and six Barry has fanalos. What do you call that? Uh, what do you talk, call Tim Peake fan? Matthew says uh, they should be called Peakers. Andrew says peak geeks. Lynn came up with Peaky Blinders. I like that. Dan Rivers, who's from ITV, but clearly still watching BBC Breakfast this morning, uh, says peekaboos. <laughs> um, let's peekaboo at the weather, shall we, with Peter. <laughs> Morning, Peter. Good. This is all about our education. We need more education on these sort of mm. things. But equally, they can make it clearer as well. But sure, equally, I think time, if you think about, you know, we're constantly talking about being short on time and, and leading busy lives. People aren't cooking breakfast, no. you know, don't have the time to cook breakfast or make the time to cook breakfast. So they're looking to these products, aren't they? And then perhaps not getting what they think they should be getting. I'm short of time. We're quite pressed this morning yeah. because of Tim Peake taking up a lot of our time. But let's just look at this story in the sun, shall we? Because they're saying it's down to two final candidates for the role of James Bond. Oh, I Tim Peake is not... Because one of them might end up sitting here and then they'll play it back to him. Really? <laughs> he chose well, the other one. Well, there, Justin. Justin. But now, thank Not you very much indeed. Uh, we've been talking about Tim Peake. We've been following his momentous journey. He's returning from the International Space Station. Headlines are going to come up and, of course, the latest on Tim Peake. The British astronaut Tim Peake is on his way back to Earth. His capsule that he's in with two others undocked from the International Space Station about an hour and a half away uh, ago and he's now on his way home. Pala Ghosh is at the Russian agency Mission Control just outside Moscow. We're going to talk to him in just a moment. First, let's remind ourselves of the moment when the capsule, which is carrying Tim Peake, left the International Space Station heading for us on Earth. Oh, you saw it. It was quite yeah, funny. It's the only word I know in French. <laughs> Time now is quarter to nine. Now, President Putin has criticised the ban on Russian athletes competing at the Rio Olympics as unfair and unjust. Yeah, the International Athletics Federation decided yesterday not to lift the suspension it imposed last November because of widespread doping. Mr Putin said he would still try to get the ban overturned. Let's discuss this now with Kelly. It's done everything possible since the ban was first imposed to regain the trust of the international community. We've rebuilt our anti-doping institutions, which are being led by respected international experts. The time is nearly 10 to 9 on Saturday morning. In the next half hour, we're going to see the beginning of Tim Peake's landing Don't process. Get some bus and moves while, while we're out of <laughs> shot. Hey, Sally, thanks so much. Um, enjoy the rest of the day. We'll see you on the programme again tomorrow. The time just after 20 to 10. I want to bring you up to date with a story we've covered quite a lot on Breakfast over the last mm. uh, few months. We've heard some of your stories as well. Dangerous tumble dryers. Uh, a new statistic for you. Apparently they're now causing up to three house fires every single day. That's according to the local government association. Yeah, it's said that people were unwittingly playing Russian roulette by using the machines and has called for manufacturers to immediately recall the faulty dryers. Some, Simon Gompertz has this report.